Anterior to psoas approach to the lumbar spine. Post-operative x-ray review presented by Dr. Chi Lim from Carolina Orthopedic and Neurosurgical Associates in Greenville, South Carolina. At the end of this course, the learner should be able to describe the rationale for implant placement. Marking floral, you know, we can see the line across the disc space itself, and then here's the wire over the mid-body. Uh, this helped us determine where the incision is. Again, we made an incision about five centimeters in front of this uh, mid-vertebral body line. Uh, this line is important on the skin because the re retractor has to line up along that line, make sure it's in, uh, in line with the disc space itself. Again, the, the retractor comes in at an angle, and then once we uh, use the instrumentation, we perform the orthog orthogonal maneuver where the tip of the instrumentation is in the disc space, and we push the instrument out of the confines of the retractor itself. This disc space was shorter compared to the adjacent segment. Now we got it nicely recreated. Uh, the spondy has essentially been uh, corrected completely. Uh, the disc, uh, the implant is in mid-body. Uh, there's a couple different concepts you can think about when you think about implants. Uh, if, you, if you're going for more lordosis, the, you could imp, insert the implant more anterior. If you're looking for more indirect decompression, you could go posterior. Just make sure you watch out for the, vas, uh, the neurologic structures. Typically, 90% of the times, you know, you get both the best of both worlds with uh, recreation of the disc space and some lordotic correction by being in the center of the, the disc space itself when you look at it from front to back. You know, the implant has a nice span across the entire vertebral body covering the outer edge of one uh, vertebral or the pedicle to the other edge of the pedicle. The peripheral portion of the end plate is the hardest bone. So to you know, prevent some of the subsidence issues, you, know, you want to try to cover the, the end plate as wide as possible. It's in fact okay, some, some surgeons actually sometimes leave the implant longer uh, and also cover the ossified as well if there's ossified formation. We did this in a, uh, a single position. You can see the pedicle screws uh, that we placed in lateral position and get position here through the pedicles at both sides and percutaneous rods. Um, and then here on the lateral, the, all, all the hardware is in good position and uh, the spondy is corrected.